faraway land where one can find love or create lasting friendships in a hospital, the Oval Office, a murder scene or Regency London. It's a place where people are unafraid to be themselves, no matter their shape, colour or creed, where every race, ethnicity, sexuality is celebrated as beautiful and represented in every form. It's a familiar place and it's legendary. We call it Shondaland. And reigning over this enchanting place are the incomparables Shonda Rhimes and Betsy Beers, whose partnership has lasted nearly 20 years. When you visit Shondaland as, as a tourist, or as anyone with a television streaming password has, you can wear whatever you like. Sweatpants with fuzzy slippers welcome. Shondaland is a place to be human. If you're in need of surgery in Shondaland, the surgeon will be wearing scrubs to showcase how much of a badass human they are. Shondaland is luxury too. If you're lucky enough to be a member of the Ton like me, you get to wear bespoke clothing that is exquisite and modern, designed by the benevolent Ella Mirajnik and John Glazer. Because let there be no mistake, to be a character in Shondaland is to look and feel your best, while making an iconic impression. Regardless of who you are or what you do for work in Shondaland, you'll wear what makes you, you. Because you never know when it's a beautiful day to save lives, or when Her Majesty Queen Charlotte requests an audience. Even before being cast on Bridgerton, when I was a young dairy girl, my dream was to be part of Shondaland. This isn't. The halls of the White House and a lawyer's office look like Bryant Park during New York Fashion Week. It's also never been so stressful watching a steamy love scene on TV as it was watching Olivia and Fitz. We were all collectively holding our breath. Be careful, just don't ruin that exquisite sheep dress. While we were grateful for those scenes, I have to admit, sometimes I was simply fantasizing over Olivia's dreamy coat collection. Bless you, Lynn Paolo. And can we get back to Bridgerton? Not only were the gowns gorgeous, but they had such modernity and realness. The amount of detailing, accessorizing and embellishments that went into each and every piece of costume, 7,500 pieces to be exact were cause enough to make me swoon. Now, it's hard to imagine Shonda Rhimes and Betsy Beers doing anything besides ruling over Shondaland, but in fact, they have lived full lives in the outside world. Formerly, Betsy was an actor in New York City before moving to LA and becoming president of several production companies, producing movies with some of our most beloved actors and directors, while still making time for a standing lightly date with her husband to walk their dog, Willie. Shonda is mother to three children, wrote a best-selling memoir, and before Shondaland was writing for some of the most iconic actors, such as Dame Julie Andrews. The series that Shonda have come out of Shonda and Betsy's partnership have given us characters who we can not only identify with, but some we aspire to be. This award honours these two forces of nature for their inimitable commitment to collaboration with costume designers in the service of the art of storytelling. <laughs> Leaving the institution of a fine, well tailored garment, no matter what the occasion.
please welcome the truly incomparable Shonda Rhimes and Betsy Beers. Good evening. Shonda and I could not be more thrilled and grateful for this honor. Since we first started our partnership almost 20 years ago with Grey's Anatomy, our obsession as storytellers has always been simply, who are these stories about? And at the center of all of our shows, and very, very crucial, has been a group of complicated and unforgettable characters. Enter you, costume design, in your wondrous craft that has helped us bring these characters, their essences and journeys to vivid and colorful life. What you do takes research, imagination, technical skill, patience, vision, and often audacity. And with each of our series, it's clear that costume designers have shifted the culture and created moments and style trends that often outlive the shows from whence they came. Costumes are more than the clothes that the actors wear on screen. Costumes tell story. The spirit and journey of every character is communicated in every ball gown, every scrub cap, every white hat you see on screen. So we want to thank all of the ingenious creative minds that have partnered with Shonda Land over the years to tell our stories. For depicting the struggle it takes to remain human while trying to save lives, etched in every ferry boat scrub cap, every piece of surgical wear, every fireman's coat and every wedding gown you've seen over the years. We want to thank the people who brought you the beauty that is Grey's Anatomy, Private Practice, and Station 19, which was built and grown in the minds of Linda Bass, Mimi Melgard, and Romel Hawkins. Thank you. And then there's Ellen Mirajnik. The pageantry and modern magic which she brought to romance in Regency England is unmatched. Thank you, Ellen, for helping us create the original world that is Bridgerton. And for dreaming up the no-nonsense sexy look that is Annalise Keating. And then there's Lynn Paolo, who gave us the fantasy-filled look, confidence, style, and power of Olivia Pope, opera gloves, and all. Thank you, Lynn, for teaching us all how to dress a scandal. And thank you personally for the upcoming look that is going to be Anna Delvey. I can't wait for that. Working with you continues to be the dream. Our success certainly wouldn't be possible without the brilliant creativity of the designers we have had the honor to work with. And so Betsy and I are extremely grateful to you all. We also send our sincere, sincere thanks to the Costume Designers Guild for this honor. And we thank the Guild for all that they do to continue to honor and support this community. Thank you. Congratulations.